The universe is communicating to you all the time. The key is to understand how that message is coming through and really what the message means because sometimes it can look so different <laughs> than what it really is trying to get across to you. Hi, I'm Deborah Peters. Welcome back to my channel. I am absolutely thrilled to have you here. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and there's a little bell next to the subscribe button. If you hit that, then each time I upload new content, you'll get a little message to let you know that there's some new juicy morsels here for you to come and watch and listen to. So what's happening right now with this great awakening that we are experiencing in 2020 and what is it that we can use and take from that to create a greater life for ourselves. We have such a polarized situation right now. There's such a tension on the negativity and it's almost like a doom and gloom kind of Armageddon sort of storyline narrative that's taking place in the media right now. And so, you know, it can really take some extra effort on your part to be able to tune into what that can really mean for you. And so I thought I would create this video. It's, it's literally keys to the great awakening that I would like to share with you today. And to be able to give you some tools to navigate the polarity that's going on right now so that you can use that to your greatest advantage and level up every area of your life. So first of all, let's look at the concept of polarity. So polarity just simply means polar opposites. It's like having a magnet. You have a positive end and you have a negative end. And, and if you try to put two polarities together, it's two negatives or two positives, they repel one another. And that's simply what polarity means. But when you look at it from a spiritual growth, um, spiritual advancement concept, it really, what it is, is it's a portal. So a portal is a doorway in energy, an energetic doorway that is there for you to step through. Now, I've had to actually literally <laughs> take myself out of all of the news reporting because, and I know that you're probably saying, well, we have to be informed. I have to know what's going on. Yet the problem with that, if you watched my video on how public relations is such a powerful tool to program masses of people, you know, millions and billions of people to believe to think, to feel emotionally, and to behave and to act in certain ways, it's really so very easy to program people at an emotional level. And what that can do is it literally can distract you from the truth of who you are. And the truth of who you are is you are a part of, you are an infinite being, you are a part of a God force that is made from and gives out and generates unconditional love. You are a part of something that is beautiful and loving and benevolent. And that is the makeup of who you are. And it's so easy to get distracted from that. Maybe, maybe you've been so well programmed and so well conditioned that you didn't even know that that's what you were. You know, I can remember periods in my life, like long periods in my life, where I just felt incredibly alone. And so 
Have you ever felt that way? Have you ever felt like you're completely alone on this planet and that nobody gets you? If you do, I want you to make a comment below because I would like to know how you have felt in your lifetime about really claiming and reclaiming the truth about you, which is that you are an infinite being, that you never cease to be, and that you are pure love and that you are worthy. So go ahead and make a comment below. When I was going through some really long stretches of time where I just felt like I was just so alone and that my family didn't get me, that I didn't really fit into society. You know, I felt like I was always wanting to have these really deep conversations and people were like, I just want to have a beer and hang out. You know, I'm, I felt like I didn't really fit or I didn't really belong and that it was really hard <laughs> to connect with people that, that thought like me and, and wanted to explore the depths of the universe in dialogue and experience of life the way I did. And so it wasn't very much fun, frankly. And it's never good to feel like you're alone or like you're going through this entire world by yourself. So I decided to do something about it. And that's when I really started to get into meditating. And it really turned into being like my saving grace because during my meditations, I really connect, you know, I connect into the, the energy of the universe, the love of God, the beauty and the benevolence and the grace of infinite spirit, I guess you could call it, my inner being. And when I make that connection, I just feel so loved and so supported. And what that does is it enables me to see with all of this upheaval going on in the world, with all of the anger and the raging and the polarity of what seemingly is good versus evil, you know, to be able to, to watch all that go on and to be in the world, but not of it. And to be able to raise myself above and beyond the energy of that, because I'm very sensitive and I pick up on that very easily. It's like my superpower. And I'm sure if you're watching this, if you're still here at the eight minute mark of this video, that's probably your superpower too. So to, to be able to see and observe all of this stuff going on on the planet right now, and to just know in my heart of hearts that all is well, and that everything is working out for me, and everything is working out in my favor. And to be in that place, that emotional strength, then what that does for me, what I do for me by choosing, because that's a choice of being in that energy, is it enables me to actually step through that portal, that opening in the energy field, I don't know how else to explain it to you, but it's really more like it's a, it's a feeling where I'm able to like step through that and instead of being attuned to what's going on in the world that is crazy, I'm able to attune to who I'm becoming, what I'm asking for, what I've desire in my life is experiences and achievements and goals and objectives. And there's something really calming about that space. It's, you know, if you've ever been in a car crash, and I used to have quite a few of them 
back in the day when I was totally out of alignment most of the time. Um, well, if you've ever been in a car crash, you know that there's like this, it's coming at you really fast, and then there's like this time warp where it's just like slow motion, and it's like you become an observer and you're almost like watching, watching yourself have this car crash. That's what I feel like. I feel like suspended in time above the fray. And this is what I would like to invite you to step into in your life because this is what the great awakening is all about. This is the key. The key for you is to turn your focus away from what is and put your focus and your attention on what it is that you are creating and tune in and ask, ask for guidance, ask for answers, ask for help, ask for people to show up in your life to implement ideas, strategies for you. You know, we just onboarded a marketing team that can help us build out new strategies, not just for my company, but for our clients as well. And that team just showed up, just boom. You know, it was just a matter of a moment of clarity and then there they were. And that's exactly what I'm talking about in terms of these portals of walking through these doors of energy that open to you and they invite you in and they say, look, you know, you don't have to be part of the upheaval. Instead, you can ride the wave of that upheaval and you can ride that wave right into your future, right into your future of possibilities, right into your next stage of growth and expansion and joy and great health and you can get younger and you can get happier and you can just become more and more vibrant because that is really your choice of how you want to use that energy because energy is just energy you see it's just a matter of how do you want to use that energy so that's really what's happening in terms of utilizing the polarity of what's taking place in the world right now to your greatest advantage and we could all do that we can all do that you don't have to go down the rabbit hole of fear and doubt and negativity and pain and suffering and illness you don't have to go there you can make the choice to stay above that so another thing that you might want to look for is repeating loops of information so for instance, you know, if you have a tendency to see the same number sequence over and over and over, like 333 or 1111, you know, partly that's an algorithmic pattern that shows up in your neuro system, neuro, neurological system. And so the more you pay attention to it, then the more you see it, and the more you see it, the more you pay attention to it. And pretty soon it's like you're attuned to it. So your nervous system um, actually your neurotransmitters have built up, built up a lot of bandwidth on it and so you know to look at the clock right at that that nanosecond and there it is and then partly that's about a guidance system coming in to say hey you are not alone and we are here with you another uh, thing to pay attention to is loops of words and phrases and you know it's like it's like that deja vu moment where you're like did you just say that to me like a few minutes ago and now you're saying it again or are you just saying this to me for the first time and and it's like a deja vu moment you know those you know or you hear the same phraseology in a movie or or you're walking down the street and something that ran through your mind moments ago or days ago you hear someone say out loud like those kinds of signs are you know like spirit saying hey i got you i got you 
I see you, I love you, and I'm guiding you. So, how do you work all of that, you know? It's really super simple. Here's how you work it. You just pay attention to it. It's so simple. It's not like you have to stand on your head and do anything special. Just be you. If you're inspired to have a nap, go have a nap. If you're inspired to go for a walk, go for a walk. If you're inspired to, you know, go sit on, on the floor or on your deck or on the grass and stretch for 20 minutes and take a little break, go do it. Because that is you being guided by spirit on the path of least resistance. And I'm telling you, once you start doing this, the answers that you're seeking will just show up. They'll just like, they'll land in your head or they'll land in your feelings or, or they'll, they'll show up in an email or somebody will say it out loud. Like, it's just so easy, you know, bumper stickers. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. So I thought I would share this with you because I know that there's a lot of people right now in colossal fear and I know there's a lot of people that are kind of like on the edge of their seat waiting to see what's going to happen before they do something with their lives and my message to you is stop waiting this is not a waiting game this is not something that you sit around and you wait to see how it flushes out because I'll tell you what's going to happen if you choose that route, is you are going to miss the boat. It's like Noah's Ark will sail and you won't be on it. You know what I'm saying to you? And I mean in your life, you know, it's not like literal. It's like in your life, like in your life, you will miss that open portal of in the energy field to step through from struggle to ease from pain and suffering to joy and thriving. And so I want you to have that. I have that and it's so amazing. And I want you to have that in my heart. I want you to have that too. And so I thought I'd create this video and just kind of unpack what's going on in the Great Awakening and I apologize, it's been a few weeks since I've put this next message together. But I gotta tell you, you know, just in all transparency, I am so sensitive to energy that sometimes, you guys, I just have to step back. Like, it's just, with everything that's going on, everything that's happening in my city, everything that's happening in my state, lifting up my clients and moving their companies forward and handling their teams and the fear and the energy and the doubt and and the restriction that's happening you know it's just a lot it's just a lot and so i'm always thinking of you i really am it's just that sometimes for me to like sit down and do this I avoid it, <laughs> I gotta be honest. And I don't mean to, it's not that I don't love you. It's just that I'm already feeling so much energy to sit down and record. It would I feel like my like the top of my head would blow off or something, I don't know. So um, yeah, here we are. And I think I'm past that phase now and I can be more fluid. And consistent with the messages all right so what else did I want to share with you um, yeah I want to like to just reiterate you know teach yourself to connect you have to ask if you want help if you want your life to be different you have to ask your inner being to step forward and guide you because your ego your ego is never, ever, ever going to let go 
of the struggle, control struggle that it has on you. It doesn't want you to be in pain, but you know, it's just the way we're wired. Let me, let me just sum it up that way. It's just the way human beings are wired. Your ego will never relinquish control unless you ask your higher self, your inner being, God, the universe, <laughs> infinite, infinite intelligence, all those words, all those names, that energy to just come forward in your life and help you. You have to ask because unless you like literally plug into it, it's not going to intervene. It's like this. It's like, let's say your car or your pickup truck or your boat or your motorcycle or you know is running out of gas and you're down and you're on your fumes like you're barely getting down the road the gas is not going to come out of the ground through the pump and find its way into your gas tank you have to go to the pump Put in the nozzle, put in your credit card, put in the nozzle, pick the grade and pump the gas. And that's exactly how spirit works. Unless you go and plug in through meditation, through journal, through intention, through focus, 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 focus. <laughs> Unless you actually ask it to, you could recreate the struggle day after day, month after month, year after year, decade after decade. And when you're ready to kick the bucket and leave the planet and you look back on your life and you say, whoa, all I had to do was ask. So yeah, that's all you have to do. Just ask. Humble yourself and just ask. All right, my friends, I think that's everything I had for you today. And so hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, help me build my channel. I'd love to hit that next level of subscribers. And so I thank you for being a part of my life and for being part of my tribe. I love you and I wish you all the best and I will see you again soon. Bye.